I'm Council Member Diana Ayala, Chair of the Committee on Mental Health, Disabilities, and Addiction. I would like to thank all of you for joining us today. Today we'll be voting on a package of bills designed to combat our city's opioid crisis. More New Yorkers die of drug overdoses than homicides, suicides, and motor vehicle accidents combined. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, approximately 64,000 Americans died from drug overdoses in 2016. Three-fourths of those were caused by opioids, and that represents a 21% increase from the previous year. Although there is no silver bullet, each bill in this package is a step in the right direction. Intro number 615A, which I sponsored alongside Council Members Reynoso, Ambry Samuel, and Holden, will require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to provide overdose Opioid overdose reversal drugs, such as naloxone, to all syringe ex exchange programs operating in the city. It would also require DOHMH to ensure that all syringe exchange staff members are properly trained in overdose prevention and reversal. Intro 618A, sponsored by Council Member Brennan, would require DOHMH to develop age-appropriate educational materials on drug and opioid awareness prevention and would also require Department of Youth and Community Development and Department of Education to distribute these materials to youth programs and students, respectively. Council Member Brennan also sponsored Resolution 197, a resolution calling on DOE to develop a comprehensive drug awareness curriculum in all city public schools. Intro 623A, sponsored by Council Member Cohen, and Intro 717A, sponsored by Council Members William, would require reports from the Council about the administration of opioid antagonists from fire and police departments, respectively. Intro 667A, 667A, 668A, 669A, all sponsored by Council Member Torres, would expand treatment options and reporting requirements. Intro 667A would require the Department of Social Services and the Department of Homeless Services to refer individuals receiving opioid antagonists for additional services. Intro 668A would require DOHMH to provide opioid overdose prevention and reversal training to the public. And Intro 669A would require Municipal Drug Strategy Advisory Council, which consists of healthcare professionals, advocates, and individuals suffering from substance abuse misuse disorders to report on the number of opioid overdose reversal drugs that are distributed to city agencies. As you can see, we want to attack this problem from every possible angle. In order to prevent young people from getting hooked and ease <clears throat> the means by which individuals can access treatment, we will need a combination of more comprehensive education, enhanced referrals for services, and better data collection from agencies. And that is exactly what this package establishes. This is not the last time that we will be addressing this problem as a committee or as a city, but I hope that things will be better the next time that we do. I would like to thank the staff of the Committee on Mental Health, Disabilities, and Addiction, Council Sylvester Yavana, Policy Analyst Michael Kurtz, and Finance Analyst Jeanette Merrill, and my Legislative Director, Bianca Almedina, for their work on making this hearing possible. Finally, I would like to recognize committee members uh, that have joined us, Council Member Holden, Ambry Samuels, and Fernando Cabrera. Anyone else? Okay. And now we will be voting. Oh. Hello. Council Member Van Breno. Yes, you can call. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Mental Health. Chair Ayala. Aye and all. Cabrera. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Ampri Samuel. Aye. Holden. Aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, we will call this committee to an end, but before we do that, we will leave open the vote until 12.30? Oh, okay, so we will, we will adjourn. We have enough votes. Thank you.